census chaos, the Justice Department reversing course after they just reversed course on the 2020 census. Just a short time ago, the Justice Department told a judge that they are now looking for a way to include the controversial citizenship question just after they decided yesterday to start printing the questionnaire without the question. Are you following me? Is your head spinning? It should be at this point. It is all because of this tweet from the president today. He tweeted the following. The news reports about the Department of Commerce dropping its quest to put the citizenship question on the census is incorrect or to state it differently, the president says, fake. We are absolutely moving forward as we must because of the importance of the answer to the question. Only thing, there is nothing fake about the reports the Justice Department even admitted it to the federal judge today saying, quote, the tweet this morning was the first I had heard of the president's position on this issue, one attorney said, just like the plaintiffs and your honor. This justice attorney went on to say, I do not have a deeper understanding of what that means at this juncture other than what the president has tweeted. According to the Washington Post, the president hated the idea that it appeared he had thrown in the towel on the fight over the citizenship question, caved on any issue, especially one that he has been railing against for months. I think it's very important to find out if somebody's a citizen as opposed to an illegal. They're not allowed to ask whether or not somebody's a citizen of the United States. How horrible and ridiculous is that? Hey, can you imagine you send out a census and you're not allowed to say whether or not a person's an American citizen? Pamela Brown is out front live outside the White House for us tonight. Pamela, what more are you learning about this sudden reversal from the administration? And please remind folks why this is so controversial. So, Kate, this is a truly stunning course reversal. The president's tweet today clearly caught a lot of people off guard, including officials in his own administration. It caused chaos as officials try to grapple with how to square what the government told the court just yesterday, that the census will not include the citizenship question, and then what the president tweeted today, that his administration hasn't given up the quest to include that question. Now, a Maryland federal judge convened the hearing today after seeing the president's tweet that contradicted the government's position and gave the DOJ DOJ lawyers a whiplashing. One of the lawyers, uh, DOJ lawyers, said that the president's tweet was the first he had heard of the president's position and that he was trying to get his arms around this fluid situation. Nonetheless, Kate, the judge reprimanded the DOJ lawyers for the sudden shift and suggested they don't speak for the client. The president, of course, it's unclear what exactly prompted the president's tweet, but a White House official says there have been discussions about a path forward. What that path is, though, is unclear after the Supreme Court put a hold on the question for now, and the census printing has already begun. Kate? Absolutely. And all of this comes down to critics of this question being put on say it's directly targeting minority communities, immigrant communities, and trying to suppress the representation in the census, which equals millions of dollars, redistricting and the balance of power. Pamela, thank you yep. so much. Out front with me now, Democratic Congressman Raul Gralva of Arizona. Congressman, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. I was looking, um, of course, on Twitter. At 11.15 this morning, Congressman, I saw you were celebrating on Twitter the fact that the administration had dropped the fight for the citizenship question and was moving on, at least it appeared. That was this morning. What do you say now? Well, I'd say that, uh, you know, I thought that the lead counsel for the senior counsel for uh, Mexican American Legal Defense Fund, uh, Mr. Sainz, said it best. You know, the administration is now uh, doubling down on stupid. And, and I think the plaintiffs are in a strong position. Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, the opinion from the Supreme Court in holding and leaving, uh, leaving the question out of citizenship said that the uh, rationale that the administration had seemed contrived. You know, and after the Secretary Ross lied to Congress as to the motivation behind it, I think the strength is still there. And, and the federal judge, uh, it, it, this is going to proceed forward. You know, the, the president has uh, uh, obviously embarrassed by the fact that he couldn't get his way. Uh, this is the Supreme Court. And contempt uh, uh, not following an order has, has consequences. And the consequences are that uh, to continue to play this, to continue to try to milk as much political capital as he can out of this question is a big mistake. The, the Supreme Court has held it. Uh, 
There's no, shouldn't appear in there, and at the end of the day, that's what's going to happen. But this whole drama that he's created, this uncertainty he's created, even within his own ranks at the Justice Department, uh, I think is uh, another sad chapter of uh, uh, dysfunctional. Uh, one hand doesn't know what's going on, but uh, it's already been clearly decided. I, I am very confident that this, this whole exercise by Trump is going to go nowhere. The president on Monday was asked why it was so important to him to include the citizenship question. I want to remind viewers what he said. Yeah. I think it's very important to find out if somebody's a citizen as opposed to an illegal. They're not allowed to ask whether or not somebody's a citizen of the United States. How horrible and ridiculous is that? Hey, can you imagine you send out a census and you're not allowed to say whether or not a person's an American citizen? I'm not sure what the president says. I mean, what he was talking about is it's important to find out if someone's a citizen as opposed to illegal, and he talks about Democrats in, in some of his remarks about this. It, it, I'm not sure it makes any different, he's making any different a case than the one that the Supreme Court actually just sh shot down. But we do know that the president's supporters are in lockstep with him on this. How do you convince them otherwise, Congressman? That, that, this, that this nation, this nation and the census, which is part of, uh, of the counting of the people of this nation, has been going on. And it's been going on uh, to count every resident in this nation without prejudice and, in co in, and with confidentiality. That's been the story. I think the motivation behind it is pretty simple. It's to isolate groups, uh, to diminish uh, their importance politically and otherwise. And I think the president, uh, this is, to me, has always been a voter suppression issue. It's always been an issue that's xenophobic from the beginning as to who's being targeted. Uh, it, the sense about all, all, all residents, and that's the way it should be. You know, my father was a green card holder for much of his life, and, and, and he lived in this country and worked. He was counted, and he should be counted. He's a taxpayer. He's helping raise a family of this in this country, a family of citizens, and a family unit. Why should they be left out, and why should every, any resident in this country be left out? It's a way to... The president's trying to intimidate, suppress the count, and in suppressing the count, he, 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 he also affects political representation in this country. We, we've now, we're now hearing what this, at least one Justice Department attorney was saying to the federal judge in this. I mean, saying that the tweet was the first time they had heard of the, about the president's position and also even acknowledging, the, this attorney says, I'm doing my absolute best to figure out what is going on. I mean, it really sounds like chaos surrounding, as you point out, one of the most important Absolutely. national surveys taken, and it's taken only every 10 years. Is there anything Congress can do about this? Well, I, you know, the, the, the litigation was that point, you know, and Congress has, you know, at least the House uh, reaffirmed uh, through, through our action that everybody should be counted mm -hmm. and that the citizenship question was, was going to suppress the count and it was going to uh, intimidate and try to marginalize people in this country, period. And do we've affirmed just that. Him, do, do you uh, think just Mr. the president... Mr. McConnell doesn't want to deal with those questions. Do you think, Congressman, yes, please. That, even if... The Supreme Court, yes, the highest court in the land. This is now, we don't, nobody knows what is going to happen now as we, this is all just happening today. The fight, though, dragging out this fight, it could very well threaten the deadlines that the administration is up against in terms of printing and beginning the count. What could that mean? Well, I, I hope that this particular political tantrum uh, fit that the president is having doesn't do what you just asked. Jeopardize a count that is vital to representation. It's vital to resource risk distribution. It's vital to local communities to be able to know how to plan and how to accommodate yeah. uh, the residents that they have. Uh, why deny that to people and why deny that to, uh, to our country in and of itself? Right? So uh, this tantrum is jeopardizing a real accurate and necessary count that has historically been essential for, for the governance of this country.